today we are in Zion National Park and we're gonna go rock climbing <laughs> We're in Zion today. This is my second time in Zion National Park. You've been here before a few times, right? I think Zion National Park honestly kind of inspired the van for me. I don't know. Like when I decided I wanted to live in a van, I would like held on to the image of Zion so tightly that I think like the image yeah. of like being here like really drove me to actually cool. follow through and get the van. wants to explore. There's a lot of cars here, Nugget. Pretty chilly in Zion right now, and in the shade, it's probably in the 60s. Really great. Winter's almost here. It's fall, it's fall. Winter's almost here, though. I'm excited for winter. Pretty much have all the gear dialed, so Sarah's just making some breakfast right now, and we'll be off in a little bit. We're almost done. All right, you ready? Yeah. We're in Zion National Park and we're gonna go rock climbing. We are doing a climb called Astro Command. It's a 5'9", which is on the easier side of climbing, but the harder side of what I can do climbing. <laughs> it's two pitches, which means a pitch is basically just how far you can go up before you run out of rope. First pitch is a crack. You stick your hands in and you, I don't know, use that to climb. And then the second pitch is bolted, which means that there are bolts in the rock that as we climb, as Michael climbs, cause he's gonna be leading it all. As Michael climbs, he will get to the bolt and then clip in the rope. Yeah, I'm excited to climb in Zion. I didn't really know that you could go rock climbing in Zion until fairly recently. I mean, that kind of sounds like a dumb thing to say if you're a rock climber, but if you're not a rock climber, you just forget that you can like climb walls. Disclaimer, I'm not a guide, but I've been climbing for like 10-ish years now. Uh, mostly on gear like this, but this is called trad climbing. We have something like this, it's called a cam. It's like a little umbrella thing. It opens and closes and it fits into cracks like this as natural protection because it can come back out of the rock. There are bolts on this route. Bolt that's drilled into the rock with a little hanger. You clip something like this into. If you want to know more, just like reach out or like go and find a local climbing gym or hire a guide to go climbing. Don't, this is not proper advice. <laughs> Don't listen to us. I love climbing on sandstone because it's pretty soft rock and I love that you don't have to wear crack gloves when you climb it because it's just it's way easier on your hand than like on your hands than granite or the kind of granite you get in like Joshua Tree in California or kind of really anywhere. It's just the best. Not the best but it's really really good. So in Zion, the rock is sandstone. Sandstone is a softer rock, so there are different levels of hardness in rocks. Diamond is like the hardest rock. Sandstone is on the other side of the spectrum and is pretty soft. So because of that, it doesn't really like cut into your hands when you're climbing because it is kind of just shapeable and malleable and can kind of like come apart into like sand, which is why there's a bunch of like red sand. I'm really excited to climb this. I've never climbed a sandstone crack before. Let's always check your knot. Okay, ready? All right, let's go.
Alright, what is up? Was that? This one. That all. That's. <laughs> I never know what to say. Where do I clip in? Do I clip in here? Yeah. I never know what to say for that. Um, I hate crack climbing on my feet because it hurts my feet and I. It hurts everyone's feet, I'm sure. But I hate that feeling. I would rather like my hands be in pain than my feet be in pain. I tend to face climb cracks, which just means like here's the crack. You're supposed to like go in it and climb up, and I like look for the places to go on the face instead of the crack. Which makes it harder. So, well, I like it. I I like it better. But yeah, there was like a 10 foot section was that where there weren't any face holds, so I had to climb in the crack, and that was annoying. <laughs> but it was fun. Okay, pitch two. Let's get going. Let's shuffle all the gear around. I mean, back on the swings. Easier. Okay, we can do that. And now just make them shorter every time you make them. This, is, this route has 14 quick draws, which is a lot, and I only have 14 quick draws, so it's, <laughs> I have to take. Well, I have more, I just only brought 14, so. I can't leave any behind. I'm back cleaning a point five. How fun! Oh look, a free carabiner. A free carabiner. Don't leave stuff on the wall if you don't have to, guys. This pitch is so fun. bit run out. Sarah up right now. How was that one section where you had to like kind of almost mantle up and it i don't know was fine i just needed to hang out there for a while <laughs> out of four stars how many stars would you give this climb out of four stars why four stars climbing for some reason is rated right four stars um, i mean i feel like i don't have enough compared to some of the other climbs we did like at, like D like durance or any of the stuff we did at um ten sleep which all those videos are linked below if you want to go check those out but it felt somewhere. a lot like limestone, like the pockets, and I kind of liked that because I like we've had, we had fun with on limestone this summer. It's great that it wasn't in the sun, north facing. Thumbs up on that. Megan I mean, I recommend it. It was fun. Um, how was climbing here? 
how the climb we did here, how did that compare to the climbing we did in Yosemite? Specifically Bishop's Terrace. Bishop's Terrace, yeah. Which we didn't film too much of Bishop's Terrace. I mean, I have these few clips of them. What do you think compared to that? It's different rock, obviously, and we aren't in directly in the sun. So those two factors aside. Bishop's Terrace was more challenging. I feel like this one was more fun because you're just like moving. When I rock climb, this is maybe not the way you're supposed to rock climb. I just like do whatever move gets me a little bit higher than I am currently. I don't really like think beyond the next move. I think a good rock climber kind of climbs like chess. Like you need to have like it all kind of planned out. Otherwise you'll back yourself into a corner. This climb was fun because I could just like especially the second pitch just go and like not really think about it just the next move and then once that move was done then worry about the next one and if you're in yosemite i recommend this climb astro command zion. five nine. Oh my god yeah <laughs> if you're in zion i recommend this climb <laughs> this <is a> good one <laughs> I have no idea where we're at right now. <laughs> where in the world are we? We set up the rappel station with the rope. We're gonna head down. It's three rappels down. Essentially, we're just lowering ourselves off of fixed anchors. We have three of these. Should be pretty, pretty easy to get down. Question. I know some people that have subscribed are rock climbers. Is it dumb for us to explain the things that we do in rock climbing for people like our parents that watch and don't know anything about rock climbing? Like, is it okay that we're explaining stuff? I think that's my biggest dilemma with explaining climbing stuff is I'm by no means a guide or a teacher and YouTube is not the best resource to get climbing information from. I don't go climbing based on what you see in our booth like videos. Let us know if it's interesting to have things explained. Again, just reiterating, we're not guides. I've been climbing for a long time. Sarah's fairly new to this. Brand new. But let us know if it's interesting just to see what we're doing and why we're doing certain things. Yeah, yeah let us know if it's okay. If it's let us know what you think about us trying to explain rock climbing terms for a non-rock climber. Okay, let's get down. All right, now for the rappel. Okay. The tuber is way less scary than the Grigri. Gri. Really? Yeah. Back on the ground. Ooh, ooh. How do your feet feel? I'm ready for them to not be in climbing shoes. Okay. Ready to go back to the van? Let's go. Okay, so this is what um was that? the Zion Overlook that I was like, couldn't realize. I couldn't decide if it was real or fake. Oh yeah. But it's definitely real because it looked exactly like this. And even this just looks fake. <laughs> Cookie it is. The camera loves you. It does. Okay, we just finished climbing. We got back to the van. I'm gonna organize climbing gear. We're gonna make a little bit of food and then we're gonna head into town. And try to find a shower. Try to find a shower. That's a big one. Okay. Nugget is like, I can't with you. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> He's right. Okay. We'll see you in town. Wish us luck on the shower hunt. Thank you. Why did I say thank you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Nugget's mad that we won't let him explore. Oh, 
All right, we are at the rec center right now, and we're gonna take a shower and then come back and make some dinner and probably have an early night. So I think it is also very hungry right now, so I'm gonna feed him. Cool, we're saying good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you.